Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about AWS Summit in New York where we had a deep racer competition. It was my first time going to one of these. It was a lot of fun. As you can see, there was a small crowd all watching uh, this uh, little robot go around the track. Uh, what we're, who we're watching right now is Rogue. Uh, he went on to win this competition. You can see how smooth his car goes. It kept going off track, but that was only because he hadn't calibrated the uh, physical car and once he did that he was unstoppable I mean, he really had a tremendous lap time of almost just over six seconds uh, really impressive this was my first time doing this and I trained a continuous model uh, continuous action space model and it did pretty well uh, I came in seventh of overall at one point I was in first place as you can see here then I ran it a couple more times, dropped my time down to 7.5, but the competition was just too intense. Um, it was a lot of fun though, and one of my key takeaways was you don't have to train virtually at 4 meters a second. You can do 2 meters a second action space and then um, uh, drive it faster when you're physically driving the car. So it was a lot of fun, I had a tremendous time. And I uh, really recommend if you can make it to one of these summit races for phys uh, physical car, like a real car uh, racing, it's definitely worth it. It was a lot of fun. And it was great to meet Rogue and others who were there. Uh, Paradisi was there. Um, it was a lot of fun just chatting and feeling that sense of community. All right, that's it for tonight. Have fun out there, and I'll, I'm going to be posting some more videos about the continuous action space model I used and some of my latest experiments trying to um, crack into the top 10 in the U.S. on the virtual circuit. So stay tuned for that. Thanks. There you have it, folks. Team Boltron. Stay tuned for more. Make sure to subscribe and click the like button if you want to see more of this content.